So in March 2015, we launched the Second Century Plan. And over the last four years, we've been discharging that plan and giving credibility to that plan because we're following that plan exactly as we promised. And we launched the first three cars of that plan, the DB11, the Vantage, and the DBS Superleggera. Back in 2015, we also gave a vision for the SUV, car number four, the DBX. Last year, we put in place the final part of the jigsaw puzzle, which was car number seven, car number seven being the Lagonda uh, sedan. This year, we take the opportunity to complete the picture, put all the pieces in place to that seven cars in seven years. And we come along and you see today, you see that, that, that car number five and car number six. Car number five, the mid-engine supercar, car number six, the Lagonda SUV. Now you can see a complete picture. Now you can see how we're transforming Aston Martin, Aston Martin Lagonda into a world-class luxury company. We listed on the London Stock Exchange. It was part of the plan. It's an important part of the sustainability, but it's a long-term plan. Uh, and essentially, if you think about the sustainability, it's as much as anything, it's about the sustainability of the company post me, post the current management, because we have to make sure that we hand off the plan and the seven cars to a future generation under the auspices of, of good governance. In order to make sure that there is really a transfer of technology between Formula One car and Valkyrie, and ultimately into AMRB 003, and of course ultimately through to our road cars. Why? Because they're developed in the common campus. They're developed in Milton Keynes, in the Red Bull uh, facility. Our styling studio is there. Our advanced engineers are there. And all of that knowledge, all of that racing knowledge, culminates in the cars that you can see around me today. Well, obviously last year we revealed the concept Lagonda, essentially the sedan. Um, I think it's fair to say that we, uh, we rattled a few teacups as a result of doing that, but we established our credibility, or I should say, actually, we re-established the credibility of Lagonda uh, in, that, in that area of, of ultra-luxury sedan and SUV type cars. A year in the working, developing that design language. We've come today with the Lagonda all-terrain concept, and it shows how you would discharge uh, an SUV in that all-electric uh, Lagonda suit. And I think you see something very different. Going 100% electric means never having to provision space for, a, for an internal combustion engine. By doing that, we're able to we're able to yield that space and give it to the customer. And we give the customer at least one of the two things that luxury customers really want. They want time and space. What we give them is space. Within the next few days, we should know what Brexit means. Once we have certainty around what that means, we can get on with life, we can put it behind us. And as a management team, Aston Martin Lagonda is going to concentrate on executing the second century plan and, and execute the beautiful cars that are behind me.